Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play moves like Jagger by Maroon 5. So here we go, I'll be teaching you two sections. The first section is that instrumental motive that plays throughout the song and that very catchy whistle motive. And then the second section is the chorus section which is very catchy too. Anyway, I'll give you a preview of both sections right now. So, instrumental motive goes like this. Also, the chorus section, here's the preview. Okay, it goes like this. The Take Me by the, I forgot, I forgot the lyrics, but anyway, give you a preview right now, it goes like this. to it okay it's a pretty long preview let's get right to the first section the whistle motive instrumental that starts off the song all right here we go right hand starts on the b here middle c go up to the b here goes b d e up to the b a f sharp e d d f sharp down to b and then you repeat that motive again b d e up to b a f sharp e d d F sharp B. And you repeat this motor for a total of four times. This third time and fourth time. Very easy right hand, okay? So that's it for the right hand. That's actually the whole like um, section for that. It's just like that da 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 for four times, okay? Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are two B minor chords, which is B, D, F sharp. So two of these B minor chords followed by two E minor chords, which is E, G, B. It's fully white note chords, so two of them as well. All right, so with these four chords in mind, so B minor twice and E minor twice, and two hands together goes like this, really simple. Every first note of that um, phrase, you play it with the chord. It just goes together. Together. That's it, pretty simple, you just repeat it as many times as you want, okay? But anyways, that's the whistle uh, main motive there, right, that starts off the song. Let's go right to the chorus section, which is awesome as well, alright? So, we're gonna break this up into, let me see, we'll break it up to two parts, okay? First part goes like this, right starts on the B up here, middle C, go up an octave C, go up to the B. So it goes B, A, F sharp, E, D, D, E, B, D, and then back up to B, F sharp E D D E B and that's it for the first part, okay? So one more time it goes B A F sharp E D D E B D back up to B A F sharp E D D E B that's it for the right hand. Left hand, four chords, four B minor chords, which is B D F sharp, so four, two, three, four. Alright, so with these four chords in mind, so four B minor chords, turn together that goes like this. So B minor starts off, right comes in. After B, uh, after that, B minor by itself. After D, B minor by itself. After D, B minor by itself. Like that. That's it for the first part. One more time, it goes like this, goes here. Here. To the second part, right continues, goes to three Ds, one, two, three, E, down to B, B, A. Repeat that seven note motive again, D, 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 E, down to B, B, A, and then D, 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 B, D, E, up to B, A, F sharp, E, D, D, E, B, A. That's it for the right hand for this second part. So it's not as hard as you think it is. You can see there's like a seven note motive at the start played two times, and then it goes to the sort of like the whistle motive. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like an, you can build along with like the stuff that we already, already learned like on. Okay, but anyways, here we go, let's do it again. So the second part goes the seven note motive, D, 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 E, down to 
down to B, B, A, repeat. And then change D, 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 B, D, E, up to B, A, F sharp, E, D, D, E, B, A. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, just four E minor chords. What you know is the 40 white note chord, E, G, B. So four of them, two, three, four. All right, so with the four E minor chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, E and E minor together. E and E minor together. B and E minor together. Second D and E minor together. Like that. One more time, it goes. Together. 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 There you have it. So back to back the two parts of this section we'll be playing like this, check it out. it okay so once you get all these notes chords everything correct then you can start to think of other improvisation and decoration patterns to put onto it to make it more awesome pretty simple stuff there's actually only two chords if you think about it, b minor and e minor in this so master those two chords and then you can start to apply all these improvisational patterns like you do an octave bass note followed by like arpeggios and the rhythmic patterns to make it more awesome so you can do something like this in the chorus you can be like like based on the chords so it's actually not much stuff happening but like you need obviously some hand independence uh, and also coordination with the rhythm okay so yeah you can see based on the chords that's why it's so important to know the chords because from that you can just add all these stuff okay so like just did it like rhythm pattern like a really simple pattern so again have your own version it's, that's the nature of my methods like learning the melody and chords and then like learn the decoration patterns you can learn it from my piano courses on my website bestpianomethod.com if you want to learn more piano from me so check it out again okay, learn how to play by ear uh, read sheet music, play and sing, improvise, a lot of stuff. So check it out. Also, check out the rest of my channel because literally, if you like this lesson, you'll like all the other ones. Uh, you can pretty much find your favorite songs a lot on my channel because I've done multiple thousands and thousands and thousands. So most likely, you can at least find another of your favorite songs a lot on my channel. But anyways, that's pretty much it as for now. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. Tell me in the comments what you want me to cover or teach next or use my services to guarantee a priority custom song request. For more information on all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, and books, check out the links in the description or visit my website bestpianomethod.com.